Hello, welcome to another episode of TV West. Episode 19, and we still haven't been taken off the air. Why? No one knows. more members into our TV West team. Let's meet the new faces. My name is Brogan Nelson. I joined TV West because I like really I really enjoyed the first part of TV broadcasting. Mr. Bach is a really nice teacher and there's not that many computers that are Apple in the school so it was kind of cool to have an experience like that. Also I like to film and editing. I just wanted to feel like I had a part and that I could like make a difference in the school, even if it was just at a very basic level. I'm really excited because like there's a lot of like special episodes, and I want to see like behind the scenes, you know, like being able to know what is going to be on TV West before it actually is. Because uh, I do like to watch TV West, and being able to be a part of making that content will be a really fun experience, I think. My name is Seiji Aoki. Um, I joined TV West because I've always been interested in film and editing and just everything in the film industry I was really interested in. There's not really one aspect of this where I am most excited for. I, I like everything about um, TV West. My name is Ren Betts. I joined TV West because it seemed fun and useful. <laughs> most excited for everything. My name is Caden Garrity. I joined TV West to enjoy edit because I enjoy editing video and producing news and stuff. I'm most excited about learning about school and making videos. My name is Alex Coombs. Uh, I joined TV West, so I, I took the prerequisite for TV West, which was uh, TV Broadcasting 1, and I had a lot of fun doing that. I had a lot of fun editing videos and filming, and so I thought that TV West would just be a good you know, just a good class to take after, right after that, now that I have, uh, have all those skills, and I just had a lot of fun in the first. <laughs> My name is Ethan Hadley. I joined TV West because I um, did TV Broadcast 1, it was a lot of fun, so I wanted to do it again. I think I'm most excited for just um, being part of a team that creates something that's really fun and, like, fun to look at. for more unique content. Big reminder, West, all class changes are now $10. Make sure you get all your classes changed by the end of today to make sure you have your schedule ready to go by the end of this year. The Sweethearts Dance is around the corner, West High. We've talked to a student government representative about when and where and how and why it is. All right, so Sweethearts is our next dance coming up here at West High. Uh, the theme this year is Love is in the Air. Uh, so it's, it's going to be February 9th uh, from 7 to 10, and it is going to be held in uh, the West High Commons, so just here. So $10 per couple, $5 per person. And last, you come with your data match partner, in which case it's only $5 per couple. So make sure to ask that special someone. Love is apparently in the air with your potential match. Last week, a data match test was distributed to all the classes to be filled out. This data match was to promote the upcoming Sweetheart Dance on February 9th. The results for your matches will be available in the Commons from February 5th to the 8th. It is $2 for matches in your grade and one additional dollar for all the matches in the school. There has been a piece of ham located in the hall right outside the TV West room. We are sending our representatives, Simon and Alvin, to go and find out who did this egregious crime. Find out about the ham in the hall. What's up, West High? I'm Simon Peasley, and today we're doing an investigative report. Not about what's below, but what's up above. Welcome to Ham in the Halls. <laughs> Ah! 
So I can't remember a time when the ham wasn't there, but I can't honestly say I noticed the moment in which it appeared. I noticed it this year, but something tells me it's always been there. Uh, and it looks really old. So there was never a moment when I said, oh, clearly that ham was just put there. When did you notice the ham? Like two weeks ago. About 45 minutes ago, maybe 20. Somewhere in between 20 and 45 minutes ago. I imagine some students were just like hanging out. They had a piece of ham. They just, on a whim, tossed it in the air to see if it would go anywhere or stick to anything. They succeeded, had a few laughs, walked away, and are probably unaware of the legacy that this ham has provided since. I don't know, maybe someone was like choking and like when they spit it back up, it's just like boom, got stuck right up there. I think somebody just threw it up there one day and decided to leave it because it stuck. Oh, and I, I want to make another thing like really clear. Like you can walk past this ham like a hundred times and not know it's there. I think our custodial team does an excellent job. They're just not cleaning off all of the ham from the ceiling tiles, which is understandable. The ham has since been taken down from the hallways, but it will remain always in our hearts. Next up is a fun and educational Two Words That Don't Fit Together segment about hijabs. Good morning, West High. I'm here today to kill the curiosity about the hijab. So first of all, Hijab is from the Arabic word to cover and a hijab is the head covering that's worn by most Muslims around the world. Because the hijab is a wide subject, I went through the hallways and got people to ask me specific questions they had about the hijab. Um, why do you guys wear the hijab? For me, a uh, hijab is a choice. It's my choice and I choose to wear it because it allows me to retain morals, modesty, and freedom. Wearing the hijab is a part of your religion? The hijab is part of the religion. It is mentioned in the Quran. The Quran is a religious book and the hijab is mentioned in there. But it's technically also a person's choice. Are you like required to wear your hijab? Yes, when we're praying we're required to wear the hijab. So before you pray you have to wear your hijab and then pray. Okay. Um, what's the proper age to wear a hijab? Um, the proper age to wear a hijab would be 15. So if you're like 14 and below, if you want, you can wear the hijab. If you don't want, it's okay. But the proper age that is required would be 15. Uh, when is a respectful time to take off the hijab? When I'm like at home with my family and my siblings, I don't wear my hijab. Like for example, when I get from school, when I get home, I take off my hijab. But when I'm going somewhere like shopping, to a hangout, to school, I wear my hijab. How often do you have to keep it on? Like is it always in public or is it always, um, yeah, I guess in just like in public spaces? Usually we wear the hijab when we're going outside or when we're around like men who are not your brother your father or men who are not related to you that's when we wear the hijab or like when we're going outside i wear my hijab every day when i go to school every day when i go to hang out like everywhere i go i wear my hijab but when i get home i take it off because it's only my family at home and people like that so i usually wear it everywhere but home and if we have guests i wear it at home too do you wear it to sleep no, we don't wear our hijab to sleep. As I said, when I get home, I take it off. And yeah, but you could, if it's your choice, if you wanted to wear it to sleep, it's all you, but we definitely do not wear the hijab to sleep. Well, thanks for watching, West. I hope you've learned a thing or two about the hijab. Until next week, have a beautiful weekend. Gear Up is offering an after school program that you might be interested in. Good morning, Miss Hi. As most of you know, Gear Up is one of the programs here at West High that helps students with their schoolwork. Well, Gear Up does not only help students during class time, it also has an after school program that may benefit you or someone else you know. Gear Up offers after school tutoring for other students who are busy during school time and other students who need more help. 
Hi, I'm Sarah from Gear Up, and I'm here to talk a little bit about what we offer for our after school program. Um, we do do tutoring, and that's really great because students can come in after school and get their homework done. Uh, a lot of times, students don't have time to get homework done after school hours or even before school, and so this is nice so that they can get it done. And we are here until 4 p.m. Um, but we don't just do homework help. We also help with college applications, uh, scholarships, financial aid. If someone wants to look for jobs or volunteer opportunities, we do that as well. So it's really cool, and it's a lot of fun. It's a fun environment to be in. Joining Gear Up does not require much. You're only required to fill in this Gear Up form, and voila, you've joined Gear Up and ready to go. Well, thanks for watching West. Remember to sign up for Gear Up to get free help with your homework. We were wondering how many people were auditioning or going to the multicultural talent show. So we decided to go out into the halls and ask whether people were attending or performing. or participating in the multicultural talent show? Not participating, but I definitely might be attending. Last year I got to see my friend like chop some blocks with his like karate skills, so I'd be excited to see something like that again. It was a fun time. Uh, if you're not me and you can come, then definitely do. Yes, I'm performing with the ASL Club. What do you plan to perform? We are doing a mashup of three different songs all relating to the theme of friends. Would you encourage others to attend? Um, I would. I think it'll be, you know, a good, wholesome family activity. Yes. Would you encourage others to come as well? Yes, most definitely, I would. Yes, I um, am. What do you plan to perform? A cultural summer on dance. Do, would you recommend that others participate or attend? Yes, I do. Why? Because a chance to share your culture with other people and to learn more about others as well. The Multicultural Talent Show is January 29th from 7 p.m. to 8.30 p.m. Admission is free and we hope to see you there. Attention seniors, next month on February 14th, honors diploma applications will become available. They will only be available for two weeks, so hurry quick. This year, seniors should be prepared to graduate. If you want to graduate on time, then make sure to look at the information sheet that can be found on the West High website. The West Winds Magazine is holding a cover art contest. Make sure to get your submissions in. West Winds is the century-old literary magazine that highlights West High student creativity. Uh, and in West Winds, we've got poetry, prose, photography, art, uh, and it's done by students for students. My favorite thing about West Winds is how it showcases the incredible diversity of creativity that we have in this building. Um, the West Winds staff works hard all year to gather together work from all kinds of students. If you want to come join West Winds, uh, come talk to me and we'll, we'll figure out if you've got the right stuff to be a West Winder. Well, the West Winds Cover Art Contest is open to anyone who thinks that they uh, would like to have their art on the cover of West Winds. Um, you know, we'd be happy to look at anything you've done, make sure that it's on unlined paper, and um, bring it to room 428 as soon as you can so we can take a look at it. When you flip through a West Winds, uh, you're seeing, hopefully, uh, the best of what West High is doing uh, in the world of arts and writing and creativity. Tastiest time of the week, West. Welcome to the first and unfortunately not the last episode of Cooking with Connor. Welcome to Cooking with Connor, a TV show which experiments with wacky methods and teaches unexperienced cookers the do's and don'ts of the kitchen. In this episode, we will be experimenting with one of the oldest methods in the book, cooking toast in the microwave. All right, so we have our bread, and we have a paper towel. We're going to put bread on the paper towel, and open the microwave. Put the bread on the paper towel in the microwave, and 
close the microwave. And we're gonna set this to 30. And start. Now I'm hoping that the bread doesn't turn out too soggy because that's what happens to, that's what tends to happen with microwave food. Um, and look, it's done. Oh, it's looking steamy. It's, it's very warm, but it's also soggy. That's not a good sign. That's why we have multiple pieces of bread Get this out of my face. Left a wet spot. All right, so we have our new bread, and we're going to prop this up slightly with a straw piece. And we're gonna heat this one for 20 seconds. Our bread is done. The bread is slightly less soggy. Uh, is quite warm and steamy. It feels like toast, sort of. I'm just gonna try it. It's kind of soggy and soft. Uh, I think I prefer um, toasted bread to microwave toast. Let this be a warning to you uh, people trying to microwave bread. Well, that's been another accident in the kitchen to round up this episode of TV West. Thank you and good night.